Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. There's a great, uh, I'll tell you a story about that one. You did. Oh, no, not that one. That's a Poisson distribution. No, no, I'm talking about it. We'll come back to the, the car tire one. I got it. So this was boring because it was only one trial, right? So let's play the game five times. And we bet on seven or 11 each time. So every time you throw the dice, you bet on seven or 11. Now, Alicia, when you said it's trinomial, you can still call it trinomial if you want to. Because either you get seven or you get 11 or you don't get seven or 11. But I can make it binomial, right? Because I can either, on this bet, I can either, I can either win, I'm gonna get even more general, I can either win or lose. I either get a girl or I get a boy. Does that make sense? So I can make this binomial. The only difference between this one and this one is that here, what am I doing? I'm, I go in with five bucks versus one dollar. Here I have one dollar left. I'm putting it all on seven or 11. Here I'm like, oh, I found four more bucks. Let's play five times now. Let's play five times. I want to bet one dollar and then roll. Lost. Bet again. Roll. Lost. Bet again. Roll. Hey, I won. Bet again. Bet again. Fair? What would that look like? So let's make it binomial, shall we? Let's make it binomial. Michelle, I love what you said. I'm going to, we're trying to make this all look like chickens. Winning, losing, getting a girl, getting a boy. Right? Getting a girl, getting a boy. Run it. Let's make this distribution. Program? Is everybody accessing the program okay? It's working for you? It's, it's, yeah. you're, you're good. That's the first thing. Okay. If we know we're going to play this game five times, what's the least number of times we can win? Zero. Zero. We're about to lose every single time. That's always a possibility. That's always a possibility. What's also a possibility? Getting that we win all five times and everything in between, right? Zero, one, two, three, or four, or five. So put in five, press enter. Okay, good. Now your distribution is half done. It's going to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in L1. <laughs> but now it needs to know what to put in L2. And this becomes a chicken flock with five birds in it. You have, now you now have five birds in your flock versus just the one. You've got five birds in your flock. What's the chance of getting, let, let me, what's the chance of winning? You, you know this already. It's still 8 out of 36. It hasn't changed. Just like when I buy a chicken out of that little bin in the store, it doesn't matter if I buy one or 100, it's always a 90% chance when I grab the bird. So it's still 8 out of 36. D D D go, go, go. No, 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 I was just making That makes sense. Good, good, good. Yeah, it doesn't matter because this is the chance on one game that I win, 8 and 36. Cool? Press enter. It's done. Go look at it. Yes, now go look at it. Yes, okay. Now all of a sudden, I say to myself, okay, this means I didn't win any of the games. I lost them all. What's the chance of losing every single game? 28%. That's pretty, pretty high. But what's even higher? That you're going to win one time. Now, hopefully that makes sense. What was the chance as a decimal of winning one time? Do you remember? 0.22, which is just about 0.2, which is what as a fraction? What's 0.2 as a fraction? One out of five. Which means you should win on average one out of five times. So this is all this is doing is it's showing you, again, with probability, what's most likely to happen. You're most likely to win one out of five times. Now, it's not exactly one. There's actually a different, the average is going to be off a little bit. We'll calculate the average in a second. But that's the most likely outcome. So look how likely winning two out of five times is. 23.2, that's not, that's not too shabby. That's like one out of every four times. You're going to win twice. Please, please, Tara. If you were to times probability by five, is that saying how many are in a row that you would win? Say that again. If you times the probability by five, so they have a 36, is that how many times in a row? Tara has asked a very good question. I understand it now. I, I wanted to make sure I heard the beginning of that. She said if, if I take the probability of 0.22, which is the 8 and 36, and multiply it by five, which is the number of times I try, what does that give me? Does that give me anything of use? Wait, doesn't it yes. Time? It's not that. It's something even more powerful does than it that. Go down each time? It, well, it goes oh, up no. and then down. Now, oh, speaking of which, Michelle, just, just to answer that, I'm going to come back to yours, Tara. It's a very important question. Michelle, though, I gave you guys a second program <laughs> called Dist Draw. 
Use this if you want to. If you select disk draw, it gives you a graph of the distribution so you get an idea of its shape. So you can see that it does go up before dropping and then basically zeroing out. That's, that's that other program. You, you might never use it. You might use it frequently. It depends on how you, if, you want, if you want to. Now, but back to, back to Taryn's question, though. Taryn's question is, if you took the 0.22, which is the, you know what? Let's answer this question with words. Because I think, I think it'll help, actually, believe it or not. I think it will. What is the point two two? That's the probability of winning, right? Right. Winning on one trial. So speaking, speaking of which, if we rewrite the let's go back to project number one. Oh, Stupid question, dude. Thank you. What is the prob what is the probability of an event? What does that mean? Probability of an event. What, 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 what is that number? Like, how did you get that number? Andrea, go, go, go. You got it. Like the likelihood. Of likelihood. Mm -hmm. Chances. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, if I may rephrase, if I may rephrase, it's the number of times you win. Right. The number of times you lose. Say that again. Versus the number of times you lose. That's odds, not probability. Versus the number of times, total times. The number of times you play. play. If you do win to lose, you do with something that's called odds. I tend to ignore odds because the odds in Vegas are different than that. But if you do the number of times you win divided by the number of times you play, you get the probability of winning. So if it's 0.22, that means on average 22 times out of 100 we should, we should win. If we take that and multiply that by a small subset of the number of times we're going to play, so we're going to multiply that, like you're saying right now, by the, the number of times we play. The time unit cancels off. And all you're left with is, is a number of times that you win. And the idea is, what you're getting is, you're getting the average One. number of times you'll win out of the number of times you play. <laughs> this is such a good question. Because Taryn will now know, if I play this game five times, the average number of times I'm going to win is one, roughly one out of that five. That you know the number, the average number of times you can expect to win the game. The distribution kind of shows it to you too by being 0.4. But you don't even need the distribution. If that's all you're interested in, if all you're interested in is the average, you just take the 0.22 times the 5, and that tells you on average how many times you expect to win. One. Is that fair? You did it in class Monday without even realizing it. Oh, think about this. With the chickens, every time we added a bird, we added 0.9 of a girl, right? Every time we added a bird, we added 0.9 of a girl. So it went 0 0.9, 1.8, 2.7, 3 3.6. That's multiplication. 4 times 0.9 is 3.6. So for four birds, on average, you get 3.6 girls per bird. Or per flock, I should say. Terrence, does that make sense? Oh, it's totally badass. It's a great question. Okay, go. Okay, so the number of times we win over a number of times we play. So, right. So this is the definition of the probability of winning on one try. Uh -huh. It's the number of times you, you win divided by how many times you play. If you multiply that rate of winning, this is really, if you think of it this way, it's a rate of winning. Okay. It's a percentage of the time you will win. If you multiply that percentage by the number of times you play, that will cancel out and tell you how many times you should expect to win. Once. You should, right, in this case, once, because we're playing five times. Maybe. Michelle, go. Okay. I'm having a hard time understanding because what I'm thinking about is when you talked about getting eight chickens. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come wait, over here. Wait, wait, wait. You would still. Oh, wait. Your odds would go down the more chickens. You right. Have. You're you're asking a different question than Taryn is asking. Why it would still? No, no, no. You're back. asking a different question than Taryn is asking. Okay. You're asking a question based on one element of a distribution, just the line that contains me. She's asking a question that involves the whole distribution, not just one line of it. No, watch, watch this. Let me answer your question though. Okay. Right, but the overall distribution is still tied to the fact. Right, it's still tied to point nine. Watch this, watch this. Let's stick with this with this die roll thing right now. It's a great question, Michelle. I want to come back to it. Let me just I'm gonna finish answering Terrence first before